Is it a first... true fact or a false fact that the last bid was eleven billion dollars? Right. That was one of the reasons that it, things were. There's there's deeper technical reasons to do this because you're not lots of novel technology. You have to land, go back to where there's a rover now, land next to it, somehow get the samples onto a rocket that you land on the surface of Mars that can sit there for two years on its own. And then why two years? Because it takes two years to get to Mars and come right and uh, land and come back. You have to launch on these cycles, and then it has to launch itself, go into orbit, rendezvous with itself with another spacecraft, all Mm -hmm. autonomously, Mm -hmm. and then come back to Earth without you know getting anything dirty. So it's not seven minutes of terror; it's two and a half. It's two and a half. I mean, it's incredibly difficult. It's all stuff you have to do if you want humans to go to Mars, right? Ultimately, anyway. Yeah, I was saying it's a it's a it's a great dry run for when we go, Mm -hmm. but more importantly. And I don't know if you can answer this. Mm -hmm. Are there benefits that we would glean from doing this that have nothing to do with the Mars mission, but that would end up spilling over into our everyday life? Yeah. This type of stuff, when you set extreme limits for yourself, why do people run triathlons? Why do people run marathons? Why does Mercedes, you know, build cars for F1 racing, right? These are extreme, they, they seek out extreme conditions so you can practice and train yourself to be extremely good at something and have high precision, have high capabilities, and figure out how to do really hard things. So it makes your manufacturing better, it makes your engineers better, and it motivates and challenges people to pursue these incredibly difficult things that then go out and just make the world better through their own, you know, spin-off businesses and technologies. You need a goal like this, right? It, It just sets this bar. And these types of, again, autonomy, Right, robots know how to do things is kind of a big deal right now. Right, we're figuring out how to do that, and there's so, huge reasons to so do that. So you threw in the word reason. Mm-hmm. 